Hi friends, what's up? If you're new here, my name is Amanda. If you guys are not new here, welcome back to my channel. I know it's literally been ages since I filmed, but as the holidays roll around, I decided I wanted to do a Christmas gift guide this year. So I am gonna be doing a Christmas gift guide, kind of mostly encompassing ideas for health and fitness lovers, and then some other ideas thrown in for just guys or girls, whatever, so you guys can get your loved ones something bomb this year. But without further ado, I'm just going to hop right into it, starting off with the health and fitness category. These are all things that I either have and love or want. Um, so let's just get it started. First and foremost, I think a great idea, a great gift idea is a water bottle. Any kind of water bottle. I specifically have a Hydro Jug. I absolutely love it because it's super big and helps me get my water intake but the Hydro Flasks are good as well, or the Yeti um, tumblers, I love those. Next would be any kind of gym bag, Nike, Adidas, whatever, or anything you find on Amazon. I specifically have a Vouray bag, I absolutely love it. I love that it has a slot specifically for my tennis shoes to go in, which helps me not forget my gym shoes ever, and then it keeps them clean and fresh as well, so I'm not wearing them outside and getting them dirty. Next would be any kind of gym shoes. I especially love my Nike blazers. I know those are super trendy right now. A lot of people love them. They're great for in or out of the gym. I like to wear them when I'm lifting because of the flat bottoms. But I additionally think a great gift would be the Air Max 270s. Those are also super trendy. They're very versatile. You can wear them out or you can wear them at the gym, running, lifting, whatever you decide to wear them. Additionally, if you're really into exercising and want to kind of invest a little bit more into some shoes, I think that the Noble running shoes or the Noble lifting shoes would be super bomb and anyone would be happy to get those as a gift as well. Additionally, I think that exercise bands would be great if you're looking to work out at home more or use exercise bands for more resistance in your lifts or even just as activation and warm-up exercises. These ones I got off of Amazon, they're the Peach Bands, but I also recommend the company Bika by Chloe. They have great long bands and short bands and barbell pads as well, which is another idea um, for anyone that loves to go to the gym. So they can have their own barbell pad and not have to use the ones at the gym that are sometimes crusty, dusty, busted, you know the deal. The next idea I have is headphones. Obviously anyone going to the gym, Odds are they're going to be trying to listen to music or if you're walking on the treadmill and want to listen to YouTube or a podcast, it's always good to have headphones. So AirPods, AirPod Pros, the new AirPods that just came out, or if you like over-the-ear headphones, I always recommend my Beats. I love my Beat Solos. I think they have the Beat Solo 3s or the newest Beat Solos 3s are the newest ones that just came out. And those are always super good, super cute, lots of different colors to choose from reasonably priced and great quality. Next idea I have is any kind of gym clothes. So leggings, tank tops, anything like that, um, biker shorts. I especially love Elfily um, or Navigation. Gymshark has good stuff too. Or anything that you can find at your local store like a Dick's Sporting Goods. Pretty much anything would be great. So you have additional leggings to go through things to mix and match, tops and leggings, and you never run out of clothes because we all know that when we look good, we feel good. So sometimes just putting on a cute outfit is half the battle. So I definitely recommend getting anyone you know um, leggings or cute workout clothes. My next gift idea is an Apple Watch. I know a lot of people like to track their workouts, track their heart rate, track their calories burned, all of that. So an Apple Watch is a great thing for that. Next is any kind of protein powder or supplements or any kind of like energy drinks or pre-workout, creatine, BCAAs. Make sure you obviously like do your research on what ones you would get for whoever. Um, and if they like that kind of stuff, then I think that'd be a great idea for anyone going to the gym. Next would be in any kind of socks or just cute funky socks with like cute patterns on them or the Nike, the tall Nike socks or even the short Nike socks because I feel like everyone's socks just disappear. So socks, you can never have too many. Next idea that I have is scrunchies and headbands or claw clips. Anything other than these 
these hair ties right here because I put my hair way too tight. I honestly need to ask for scrunchies for Christmas because I always put my hair way too tight and then I get breakage and then my hair is like dented when I'm done with the gym. So scrunchies, claw clips, all that good stuff. It's like trendy and it's functional. So that's always bomb. My next idea is any kind of oversized sweatshirts. You can warm up in them or you can lounge around at home with them or go out in the cold or any kind of crop sweatshirts. I love to work out in crop sweatshirts because I'm so short. So anything even normal size looks like I'm swimming in it. So crop sweatshirts are bomb as well. Next is like more so for your at home type stuff, but an at home pull up bar if you're looking to gain strength or just like consistently do pull ups if you don't have access to a gym or if you're not comfortable trying to learn to do pull ups at a gym, I definitely recommend getting a pull up bar. I love pull ups, they're like one of my staple workouts. So, highly recommend that if you like to do at home workouts. This next one has been crucial for me. Any kind of massage gun, I specifically have a Theragun Mini. I absolutely love it. I think that it's great at getting my sore muscles and helping get my knots out because I have a lot of tension right here and it has helped me tremendously. My next idea is a foam roller. I think the ones with, if they're hollow on the inside but they have like the metal ring um, underneath the foam, I personally think those ones work the best. Or if you get just regular foam roller, make sure it's like pretty firm. So when you go roll on it, it doesn't just squash because some of them that I have tried are no good at all. But a foam roller is always good for anyone working out. So you can roll out your muscles, get your back cracking, whatever you need. So definitely a great idea to get. This next one is way pricey and I obviously don't expect a lot of people to do this, but a lot of people like to work out at home and a lot of people like to, you know, ride bikes or go to spin classes. So if you are a person that enjoys doing that kind of stuff, it might be time to invest in a Peloton for this person, whether it's your wife, your husband, whoever it is. I know Peloton has a lot of different classes that they offer and their instructors are great. The equipment is great. So a Peloton, if you're really wanting to splurge and this is like the big gift, I definitely recommend a Peloton. I like to ride them as well and I want one one day. My next one is a workout notebook so you can track your progress. I know they have ones that have it so you can specifically put what workouts you're doing, how many sets, how much weight, and that's really good so you can track your progress and if you're trying to do progressive overload, that's really good. So over time, you can see, okay, am I upping my weight? Am I upping my volume? And kind of see from there. So I definitely recommend that. And last but not least for the kind of health and wellness fitness type ones is a heating pad or a neck heating pad. I got mine from Bed Bath & Beyond. I absolutely love it. I get so much tension right here, as I said, literally like a minute ago, and it has just helped relieve so much tension. It's helped get rid of my headaches. So I definitely recommend that if you get tied up here as well. That's a great gift as well. I'm going to go into just a few gifts for some girls, a few gifts for some guys. Obviously, these can be intermingled. You know your loved ones better than I do, but I'm going to start off and I'm going to go quickly through these. So for girls, puffer jackets are super cute and trendy and obviously functional in the colder months. Next, Ugg slippers for at home, especially if you have hardwood floors like I do here in my apartment. It gets kind of cold on my feet. So I definitely love the Ugg slippers, plus they have a hard bottom. So if for whatever reason your floor is wet, if you just mopped or if water spilled from your cat knocking it over, then your feet aren't gonna get wet. So that's always good. Then my next idea is Sorel boots. I absolutely love them. They are a must here in Michigan. I love Ugg boots as well, but the Sorels are super cute, super warm and waterproof so if you're in slushy weather then you're not going to get your feet wet and your boots aren't going to get ruined. Next is any kind of perfume. I feel like that's always a good go-to gift as well as candles. Um, I love the ones from Bath and Body Works because you know I just have a candle problem and candle addiction but you can also get really good candles at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, anything like that. Great gifts. Next would be the super trendy, I don't know if you've seen them, but they're super trendy, like the pendant necklaces that have your initial or just like the big letter initial as well. Those are super cute. And any kind of like dainty jewelry, a lot of girls like jewelry. I know I do. I like to get rings and earrings and necklaces, 
Always great gifts. Next is fuzzy blankets. You can literally never go wrong. I've never heard someone complain getting their 33rd fuzzy blanket. So always a good gift. Next is for if you know someone that likes to get their nails done and maybe they sometimes do their nails at home, but this would be good idea um, for them to maybe start doing them at home more. It's the gel or poly gel nail kit. I want this so badly because I always have like broken nails and they're looking crazy. So I need to get this so I can learn to do my nails at home. Next would be a journal for the new year to kind of track your goals, keep your schedule um, on track. And so you don't ever miss anything in your schedule. So you can plan things out and be a lot more organized. Next would be blue light glasses. I think this would be good for any of us because a lot of us are working from home or doing school from home or obviously even just on our phones, iPads, like literally at all times of the day. So blue light glasses to protect your eyes would be a good idea as well. And then a three-in-one charging station so you can charge like if you have an Apple Watch, AirPods, your phone, and this would be good so it's a lot more organized and you don't have so many plugs plugged into the wall and you know that everything's getting charged for the next day and you can set yourself up for success. Next is gift ideas for guys. Whenever I don't know what to get my boyfriend, I feel like I always get him a watch. So you can get an Apple Watch or you can get something more affordable or you can get something at your local jewelry store. Um, I know that there's this one brand called Shinola or Shinola. I call it Shinola, I don't really know. But they have really cute watches and if you're, you know, husband, boyfriend, brother, whoever it is, if they like watches, definitely check out Shinola because they have so many different options to choose from. And honestly, watches are just a bomb gift. Next would be any kind of cologne because obviously men like that as well. Next, any kind of tech gifts. Um, I don't really have anything specific that I can think of off of the top of my head. But guys just love things like, you know, the Echo Dots or I don't know, just anything like techie that they can do something with they like. Next, any kind of um, trendy shoes, so like Nike Blazers, kind of like I mentioned in the fitness area, the Nike Blazers or some nicer dress shoes because a lot of the times I feel like guys aren't just going to go out and be like, yeah, I'm going to go buy dress shoes. So dress shoes that they can wear out on, you know, a date night or to an interview or to a wedding, something like that, so it's functional. Next, um, this is also because so many of us are at home on our laptops all the time, but like a home office lap desk or even a desk, like a permanent desk if you have you know, a home or an apartment. It's from Autonomous, this one's a little bit expensive, but it's the ones that goes up and down so you can adjust it and you can stand or you can sit, which is really good, obviously, if you're trying to work on your posture or stand up so you're not sitting for so long. Next, this one is just like a go-to. If you live in a colder state or you know someone that likes beanies, Carhartt hats are always just a good go-to gift. Next, any kind of joggers. I feel like I've never met a guy that doesn't like joggers, so that's always good. I know that there's so many different kinds to choose from. I know my boyfriend specifically likes them from Elf Elite or Nike or Lululemon, but there's a bajillion different ones to choose from. Next, I feel like every guy loses everything that they ever own, so get them an Apple AirTag, connect it to whatever they always lose, and there you go. They will never lose it again because they will know where it went. Next idea that I have for guys is a money clip or a wallet. Just a nice wallet or if they prefer something that's not so bulky in their pockets, get them a money clip so they can keep their cards and their cash and their ID all connected and it'll be a lot, like a lot less bulky in your pocket. My next idea is any kind of game, co any kind of game console or any kind of video game that they may like. Obviously, there's so many different ones to choose from, but that's always a good gift if you have you know, a significant other or brother or dad or whoever it is that likes to game, you can always get them a game as well. And then next, um, and lastly, again, a three-in-one charging station for guys as well, because obviously you just need to get everything charged all at once. And lastly, some kind of like non-materialistic ideas. You can always buy 
experiences and make memories with people. So if you don't want to buy something materialistic and you want, you know, a memory, you could do a long weekend or go to Disney World or do a wine tasting or a date night or a movie night. Things like that are also great gifts because it's memories that you... Okay, you guys, but I think that wraps it up for my Christmas gift guide. If you guys did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys have any other suggestions of good gifts or new things that have come out this year um, that you want on your list as well, please share them with me in the comments down below because I am making my Christmas list as well. And I want to see if you guys have any ideas that I might want as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.